All right, welcome back to the very last part of this. Uh, we're going to finalize everything. Uh, we've written all of our code. Uh, one thing from the last tutorial that I need to show you, I accidentally left off a slash uh, for your own records. Uh, save as here. Just go to the bottom. I'm sorry, I forgot to put in the slash. So let's go ahead and try this once again. We're going to browse for our file. And I'm going to grab my generic image, and I'm going to click Upload. Okay, so let's go back in. The file has been modified modified outside of the source editor. Let's go in here. It's added our new image, and let's refresh that. Okay, so it's added our new image tag. Let's run the browser again, and you'll see that it's now reflecting the new image. So now your users can upload images from anywhere. They don't need access to the uh, HTML, which is great. So we need to create some feedback for the user. So if you remember at the end of the last lesson, I added a label control. So here, and I gave the ID of the label, LDL response. So this. And this here, and if, and if the file upload control has a file, we're going to save it, else we're going to grab that label control dot text is going to be equal to please select file. Get rid of that last end div. And clean up a little bit. In the browser again. Okay, so let's try to click upload um, with nothing there. Please select the file. Okay. So we've done everything there. And now you see here's one more problem that we'll, we'll need to work on. The user clicked the button and it created feedback to tell the user they have to select an image but our XML file still updates, and we don't want that. So how can we protect against this? Else, we need to put this code inside of here. And I think that should do it. So if the user has selected a file, we're going to save it, and then we're going to update the XML file. However, if they haven't selected a file, we're going to just change the label, the label's text property to please select a file. So let's run that again and see if it worked. Browse. Grab another image. Oh, actually, let's just click it for now. All right, let's go back. Okay, and you can see our XML file hasn't changed this time because we ran all of that code on whether um, whether or not the user selected a file. So that all looks good. Let me see what else we want to do. User. Okay, so now we just need to create a little bit of feedback if everything works great, and we'll change. The very last part we'll do label response response.txt is equal to congratulations. The image has been uploaded. And like I said before in a later tutorial, uh, stick around because we're going to work on adding a little bit of security to these features and, uh, and making it things a little bit more. Um, a little bit more dynamic, so maybe we'll add uh, some, maybe a progress, a progress bar, or maybe just something that lets the user know that it's currently uploading. Uh, there's quite a few things that we'll do, and uh, I'll try to get around to that next week. So we have please select a file, browse, grab an image, upload. Okay, congratulations, your image has been uploaded. But you see here, it's still not refreshing. Uh, that's okay because uh, all they have to do is refresh their browser, but uh, let's see if we can change that. Why don't we do this? Let's do 
I upload images. Oh, no, we don't want that. We want our list view control. Let's see if this will work. Let's view images. Uh, that's our list view control, and then we're going to do data by. And I think that might work. Browse. Grab a file. Upload. Hmm, okay, good. Uh, from from what my experience is, it, it's really random whether or not it updates. Uh, I'll do a little bit of more research into that for the next tutorial to see how we can make it a little bit more dynamic. So, uh, if these tutorials helped you, um, please dig them, please uh, delicious them, whatever you like. Um, and if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on how you can make this better, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Have a good day, everybody.